guys, it's me, CP, from CP's Kitchen. My name is Cheryl. I'm from Detroit. I've been cooking for about 20 years or better, and I just love to cook. Today I'm going to prepare for you seared salmon, uh, asparagus, and wild rice. Now there are different types of salmon out there, uh, one of which that I find in the grocery stores is sockeye salmon. Sockeye salmon and Atlantic salmon are slightly different. Sockeye salmon is wild, it can be found in the Pacific Ocean, where Atlantic salmon is basically farm raised. So today I'm going to prepare for you Atlantic salmon. Okay, let's get started. So I have here some asparagus, and the way you cut your asparagus is you find a nice tight tip. The tip of the asparagus should be very tight. The tighter the tip, the better the flavor. You take the asparagus, the largest one, and you break it. Wherever the asparagus breaks is where you cut the rest of them. So you would line it up and cut your asparagus right where you cut the other one. There we go. Put that in my garbage bowl. And I have some boiling water over here. I'm going to put this in some boiling salted water, which will cook for about three minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get my salmon. I have three beautiful pieces of salmon here. Again, this is Atlantic salmon. I'm only going to use four ingredients. I'm going to use salt, pepper, fresh dill, and some lemon. Salt, pepper, and I forgot my fresh dill. We're going to get a little EVOO. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot. I'm going to put a little EVOO. I'm going to put some salt and pepper. I'm going to season up high. The reason I season up high is because you want to make sure that you cover all of your meat. You, if you do it too low, you'll put too much in one space. So we... We season high. And I don't keep the skin on my salmon. Some people like the skin on. I like to keep the skin on because I like the crispiness that the, uh, the skin side of the salmon gives. So okay, I have some salt, pepper. I have my dill here. I'm going to cut up real good here. Pat it in. All that good flavor going into this delicious salmon. And the cameraman gets to eat. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let those sit. I'm going to check on my asparagus and I'll be right back. Hi. Okay, our asparagus is finished cooking. Uh, it cooked for about three minutes. I'm now going to plunge the asparagus into an ice bath. And the ice bath is going to stop the cooking process and keep the vegetables nice and green. Okay, we're going to prepare the wild rice now. And the wild rice is just regular rice. You follow the box instructions. But today I'm going to add mushrooms for texture and I'm going to add beef broth to give my rice a little more flavor. So here's my mushrooms. I'm going to cut them up. I'm not going to chop them up too finely because I want us to taste it. So I'm going to chop them up just enough That when I put my rice in, the mushrooms will also be seen and give added flavor. One and three fourths cup of beef broth, and we're going to let that come to a boil. Once that comes to a boil, I'm going to add the rice. Then I'm going to add the mushrooms. Okay, so our skillet is hot now. We're going to put our fillets on. I'm going to put two 
meat slide down. You hear that sizzle? That lets you know that the, the skillet is hot enough to receive the meat. And it's going to cook it. So I'm going to put two in right now. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to quickly season the skin side with salt and pepper. Beautiful skin that I'm going to crisp up. And you have to eat this when it's hot. That's the only way you're going to get that good crispiness, that good crispy flavor, is to eat it when it comes out of the skillet. Salt and pepper. Look at this. And I use fresh cracked black pepper, people. I use fresh cracked black pepper because it has more flavor, more spices, more seasoning. I use the red, the black, and the green. And it gives you, it gives your food a lot more flavor, spice-wise. So we're gonna let that cook for about four minutes on this side. When I turn it, it's gonna be a beautiful golden brown, and you're gonna just wanna sink your teeth into it. But only me and the cameraman will have this today. Okay, the salmon's been cooking now for about four minutes, and I'm going to flip it. And the way you know your meat is ready to flip, people, is when you go to flip it, it easily lifts off the pan. Look at that. Look, 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 I should have flipped it, the other one first, but look at how beautiful and golden brown that is. You get the green deal, golden brown. Okay, we're going to let that cook on the skin side now for another four or five minutes, just so it gets good and crispy. Okay? Taking the last salmon out. Get it out of that grease. Put it right over here with the rest of them, and look how beautiful that is. That is just gorgeous. And that is dill, salt, and pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's plate up, shall we? On my plate, nice and pretty. Oh, it's so crunchy. The inside is going to be soft and pink. And the skin is going to be nice and crispy. Okay, so I'm going to plate up the one that I'm going to eat now because um, there's no need in me preparing this for you. Let's see how I want to do that and not letting you see the beauty of it. Okay, our rice is nice and fluffy. And you Fluff it out and you put it in a bowl. Mm. And you always fluff your rice with a fork. And I'm going to now put some on here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Now that is pretty. Okay, I gotta have a little garnish here. We got lemons. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I think I wanna sit my lemons like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the rest of this fresh deal and I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle it around the plate. And there you have it seared salmon, wild rice, and asparagus. Made in CP's kitchen. Okay, here's the fun part now. Let's taste. Okay.
All right, first thing, of course, I want to get into is the salmon. Okay. All right. First of all, let's, let's just, I just want you to hear this. I just want you guys to hear this. I don't know if you can, but it's, it's crunchy. Okay. So now I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh no. First, let me show you what it looks like. It's supposed to be pink people. Do not get excited. Look at there. Now, let me get a little piece. You hear that? That's the crunchiness. Okay, now I want you to watch me because this is what the Galloping Gourmet did. Man, oh man, I can't get it up. I'm so excited. I can't get it up. Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. It's juicy. It's not overcooked. Let me squeeze some lemon on here for you. <clears throat> it's not overcooked. It's pink in the middle like it's supposed to be, people. It's crunchy on the bottom. That's why I have to cut it. <clears throat> okay. There's more on this plate because I'm messing it up. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of rice. Now remember, the rice has uh, beef broth and I added some mushrooms. That was my little touch. Mm. <laughs> this is so good. I'm not playing. <laughs> I just want you to try it. So, if you like what you saw today, please follow me on Instagram. Mm. That's Cheryl, 4041. That's C-H-E-R-Y-L, 4041. Instagram.com. If you like recipes, that's where you'll find them. And you'll also find a beautiful picture of this. So, okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.